do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Good morning again. Big up yourself. All police officers in Jamaica, big up on yourself. On Spear Police Station, Denham Town. You know what I mean? All them man they were in the slum. All them man they were a whole thing. Um, putting out them all, fighting the crime, fighting the good fight. You know, trying to make Jamaica a better place. You know, I mean? we all doing that because we love the job and it's not like, it's not a money thing. But, there are certain issues that we need to address as it relates to this. You know, everybody know I shared a video some time ago um, where the, the government or the organization was failing to pass me out and fit and pay me off properly. <clears throat> I may mean, have to make a big shout out to all the police officers who had supported the whole video, shared the video so my voice could be heard. You know, I'm pleased to say as a result of that, I mean, as some attention was brought to the video and it was, certain things was dealt with. No, yeah, it was dealt with painfully, you know what I mean, still not the way it should be dealt with but <clears throat> thanks for the support but this is what happens and this is why i am here today this is why i am going to talk to you police officers today talk to jamaica today civil servants especially police officers listen carefully i served the jamaica constables for two, over 22 years when they passed me out they took four years from my service so them give me 16 years because they cut me service no matter how i spoke to them about they passed me out they passed me out the, um december 2020 but at the same time my passing out unfit to work was effective july 2016 so they took four years from my service no this is the worst part of it about it I'm not, I am not going to blame the pension department for this. I blame the police federation. I blame the Ministry of National Security. I blame the whole JCF for this. After 20 years of service, all I got was a mangy $1.4 million. Listen, back pay, pay out. Plus, a mangy $30,000 a month, my brothers. $30,000 a month. No, you tell me. You tell me, who $30,000 a month can help? And this is why I said I'm not blaming the pension department. Because this, the pension department only calculated the information. The Jamaica Constabulary Force as it relates to salary for me. And this is the trick to the whole thing. People that you need to understand. Everybody who has family, who has kids, and who are planning to ret retire someday, because we can't work, we cannot work for the rest of our lives as police officers. When you retire, your pension will be calculated as a result of your basic salary. Your basic salary, you hear me say? Your basic salary. So this is the thing that has been happening and is happening now, and the Federation is not addressing this. The government seems to be giving us allowances, 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 allowances. But yet our basic salary remains the same. Why? That's the corruption. Because your pension is calculated based off your basic salary, not your allowances. So, you work a million years. And your basic salary is $30,000. You are going to get a percentage of $30,000. Even if... You are getting two hundred thousand dollars a month because one hundred and fifty would be one hundred and seventy would be in allowances. So that is what is going on with police officers, the federation and the government. Between the federation and the government, all they are doing is adding allowances to policemen's salaries, where they say it's non-taxable. But to hell with that. Remember, police officers, we are dealing with the long run, you know. We are dealing. We are dealing. We supposed to be thinking about our retirement and our retirement packages and if you you if if you're not retired as a, a dsp up 
you, you're not going to get anything a month in time. I am a retired corporal of police and my, my monthly is $30,000 a month. So can you imagine if you are a constable when you retire? So from constable up to sergeant, probably inspector, now I get nothing based off our basic salary. That's the catch and that's the corruption of the whole thing. And that is, not, that is what federation, the federation is failing to do. The other day we saw some video with police, police officers, retirees, were demonstrating because of you know atrocities as it relates to their pension it is not stopping and nobody's doing nothing about it so now i am employing to the federation employing all police officers who who have represented who, who have representatives at all divisions that they need to talk to their representatives in order for the, the information to get to the police federation well the federation already know but our concerns must be met because they have to work out another plan, another salary plan. The basic salary is too small. Because when you get shot and injured in the line of your duty, after 180 days, they stop all your allowances, Virgin. If your sick leave lasts for over that, they are going to stop all your allowances and left you to what? To basic salary? Maybe you only get housing. But... To your basic salary my friends and that is nothing who can live off a basic salary because our basic salary is nothing so that is the whole corruption of the government that is what they are doing they are keeping your basic salary at a minimum level so when your pension time come you don't have nothing to get that's the reason why no pensioners in a jamaica can survive off of their pension worst police officers we are going to suffer like dog and we have police officers that are now suffering and they are getting pension because the amount that you get for pension cannot take care of you financially. I am speaking of experienced police. $30,000 a month I was sent home unfit to work. Unfit to work, that means me can't walk again. $30,000, you tell me what can thirty thousand dollars do i want you to know that you know. what can thirty thousand dollars do to any of us look i served for 22 years and that's what i got no the other thing is that when you retire from the jamaica constabulary force is that you have a whole lot of police officers out there retired now still cannot get a cent still cannot get a cent even though they have retired properly i have been re re um retired unfit to work and all i got was the pension aspect of my payoff i have still not gotten anything from the ministry of national security and i would say not the ministry but the jamaica constabulary force because the admin department is supposed to send certain documents to the hr department so that the hr department can send those documents to the ministry for us to get paid look i was passed out july 31st 2016 my salary was stopped january 2016 so the organization still owes me at least five to six months salary salary that was before passed out passing out so and still i still can't get that money i have not gotten gotten my vacation money I served 22 years. I've never been on vacation leave. I've applied for leave over and over and the leave was bounced. So the government owes me leave. The organization owes me leave. So I have still not gotten my vacation leave money. Still, that is why I, I should have gotten that too. Apart from a better, a better package, monthly package. I should have gotten health insurance for the rest of my life. Probably even housing too. If you're shot and injured in the line of duty and be, is being sent home. And you see, that, that this is the issue now. A whole lot of police officers. Because you were not shot and injured in the line of duty and were sent home and getting 30,000. It doesn't affect you. But this is some information. It can affect you. Because you can get shot. Because as a serving member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force Frontline 
or sideline or backline anywhere that you still can get shot. You still can get shot for just being a policeman at Jamaica you live. Jamaica is not a real place. Jamaica is an anti-police country. People hate police in Jamaica. So you can get shot anytime, anywhere, any place, all in your own yard. So, who are going to address these issues? We sit and we laugh and we chat because a man leave as a DSP probably get a hundred and fifty to hundred and sixty thousand a month, even though that is not money. But what about the constable, the corporal, the sergeant, whose basic salary is so low that the percentage that the pension, the pension department give you cannot pay rent, cannot buy food, cannot take care of your kids. That is what I am talking about. And this is not only happening to police officers, you know, it is happening right across the board. Soldiers, teachers, nurse, firemen, essentials, all essentials, you name it. But I am a police officer, so I have to talk as, as it affects police officers. Federation, you need to do a better job you need to put this on the table you need to put that on the table so pe police officers can have a better pension plan you don't need police officers to be to, to retired police retire police officers to be demonstrating for a better um pension pension payments you need to arrange that from now in all the federation delegates in every police station every division you need to come together all members you need to talk to the delegates we as members need to start going to the police federation meetings we need to present ourselves because we need to let them know what is affecting us and if the police federation cannot deal with the issues that is affecting police officers then to hell with the police federation we need to get a re another representative body a body that can step up and say no this is wrong and we are not going to tolerate this because the pension plan for police officers a joke thing past joke it's a disgrace but you know what police as police officers we don't stick together we don't stick together some of us don't stick together that is why we are being treated like this so again still I want to thank all the police officers who support my video. And it is a shame and disgrace that I have to take it to social media in order to just get my case closed. Even though it's still not closed 100%, but if that video was not done, I would have not sent from the government up until now. Because you have certain people in the admin department, not the workers, but the people who are in charge, who act like it's their money and it's their job. I'm not saying that it's everybody at admin department is bad. You have a few good people there who have spoken to and have over, over my issue and it was dealt with. But did it have to get to social media? Do we have to get go to social media? That's the thing in Jamaica, you know. People have to block road to get everything where they want. What? Police have to demonstrate to get everything where they want. No, it's not supposed to be so. Federation, step up. Police officers. A full time when you start talking about what is affecting you guys. And listen, if you never know, then you find out from me today. If you never know, you found you have found out today. Because I have been retired and fit to work and I am getting thirty thousand dollars a month. Which is a disgrace. What can thirty thousand dollars a month do? You tell me. The police officers who have retired from the job still not still haven't got their money the federation the admin department you need to ensure that all retired policemen get what is due to them too many i've heard it too many times police call me call my phone and say blake what is going on with your thing i'll know i don't get anything yet come on these are the things that we need to deal with and we're talking about recruiting drive recruiting, recruiting drive you recruit people who are treat, treat them like shit. 
No wonder nobody don't want to join the police force anymore in Jamaica. No wonder, no wonder why so many police officers are leaving the organization. And listen, gentlemen, leave. If you don't have a bet, if you don't see better, leave. Because there's better in other countries. There is better. There's a better life for you. If you leave Jamaica, Constabulary Force. The Constabulary Force itself is not bad, but the people them we are running it. Because they don't care about nobody else. All officers to the rank, from the rank of SSP up a politician. Learn that. Politicians. They don't care about anybody at the lower ranks. They don't care. That is my piece today. You know? And I'm so upset about the whole thing. $30,000 a month. $30,000 a month. Carpal of police, 22 years, $30,000 a month. Yes, Jamaica, $30,000 a month. That, that is what they're going to give your fathers and your brothers and your sisters. $30,000 a month. Well, it be based off of your salary. If you're a corporal or a sergeant, you get more for, for sergeant. But I, am a, I was a corporal and I am getting $30,000 a month. So how much you can still get? Must be 20. Rent in Jamaica is far more than $30,000 a month. I don't have health insurance in Jamaica. And I served my country and was injured in the line of duty. What? I have so much to say, but you know, I don't want to make this video too long. Never come another time and talk about some other things because I don't want, as I said before, I don't want to make this video too long. But these issues need to be resolved. Federation, you need to put this on the table. A better pension plan for police officers. This is suffocation.